everybody, welcome back to another brand new release preview video. Today we have 2020 Tops Update. It just came out. I just picked it up. We've got a 2020 Jumbo Box of Update that we're going to do and also a 2020 Hobby Box. We're going to show you both hobby offerings and then maybe you can decide which one is best for you. There's going to be three hits in the Jumbo Box, 10 packs in this one, 24 packs in the Hobby with one guaranteed hit. It'll be an autograph or a relic. So without further ado, let's get started. We're going to start off with Hobby, then we'll save the Jumbo for last. The Jumbo is going to have the most hits, so um, we'll save the best for last. I like Jumbo better than Hobby personally, but they're both um, pretty fun, especially on release day. So Bryce Harper is the cover guy of the 2020 update. There he is in his Phillies uniform right there. We'll give you kind of a quick little walk around the box here, and then we will bust this bad boy open now this box is going to robert robert thank you for letting us open your box on camera here and here we go 24 packs there's 300 cards in the base set and then of course there's a bunch of um short prints and super short prints as well that we can keep an eye out for hopefully the short prints end in the number 631 that little number at the bottom and the super short prints end in six. 32. So here's all of our packs. You might be thinking, what is that black pack up there? That is a silver pack. These are always really awesome. It's the 1985 Mojo design. And you got a shot at some extra autographs in these. I think it's like roughly one in every 20 packs or so. I don't think there's official odds, but from opening so many of these, that's usually about what it falls. So we'll save that for last. There's, by the way, two of those in a jumbo box. Talking about the set real quick, there's 300 total cards in the set now. There are rookies in the set. There's not the big name rookies in there, guys like Joey Bart and Christian Pache and guys like that that debuted this year along with Casey Mize. Those guys will be coming in 2021 tops, likely Series 1. But there's 29 rookies in here, and there's 10 rookie debut cards as well. Now, those rookie debuts are going to be those top rookies from top Series 1 of 2020. They have rookie debuts. They'll be looking out for guys like Bo Bichette and Gavin Lux and Jordan Alvarez and the like. There's 300 total cards in the base set. So without further ado... Let's rip these open and see what we can find. But before I do that, I want to take a minute and show you all of the odds. I know people like to look at those odds and also the no purchase necessary is there. If you want to pause that and read through that, by all means, have at it. So here we go, our first look of the brand new 2020 top. So we have a Javier Baez All-Star Game card there. That's kind of interesting. No All-Star Game played this year. We've got a Cal Ripken Jr. All-Star Game card as well. So it must be... Um, Kind of commemorating all-star game, maybe MVPs, which is pretty cool. Um, CJ Crone, Andy Burns, that's one of our first rookie cards. Like I said, there's 29 rookie cards. Jose Martinez, probably the best rookie card you can find in here is going to be uh, Randy Rosarena. There's a nice Andre Dawson. Now, Rosarena is in his Tampa Bay Rays uniform. And if you remember in the regular flagship tops, he was just in his Cardinals uni. There's a nice Gavin Lux rookie card, rookie debut. We've got Albert Pujols' active leaders card. This is commemorating the top war amongst position players. Pujols is way, way up there. Of course, Trout's, I think, going to eventually pass him up. Pujols was just an absolute machine with the St. Louis Cardinals back in the early 2000s to early 2010s before going over to the Angels and then had like a nice year. And um, after that with the Angels, hasn't really been the same. This is a cool card right here. Ken Griffey Jr. So we were wondering what Topps was going to do with Update. Gerard Dyson. And uh, I kind of like these cards. Home Run Derby Champion. Was that in that? That was actually 1994. That was a Three River Stadium in Pittsburgh. He did not win the Home Run Derby that year, I don't think. Maybe he did, actually. Um, pretty cool. I guess he did win. I was actually at that home run derby. I can't believe I can't remember that he ended up winning that one. I remember Frank Thomas hit a 500-foot home run in that home run derby, actually near me in the upper deck. There's a Randy Arozarena rookie card. That's a pretty nice-looking card right there. You can tell that picture was likely taken in spring training this year and probably like late February, early March. Cool-looking card right there. Uh, he's probably the hottest rookie right now around in the big leagues. we got an Ian Miller rookie card. Now, you never know who's going to be the next big rookie card. There's Andrew McCutcheon. I bet you if we go back and look at some of the top rookie cards throughout the update series from the last 10 years, a lot of those guys in those uh, update sets like Mookie Betts, rookie, and even Mike Trout probably weren't worth a whole lot. So you never know who's going to be the next big guy. There's a nice Mike Trout. It is uh, active leader in war, second place. 
If you're thinking, what the heck is WAR? Uh, WAR is wins above replacement. Uh, basically takes in all kinds of different facets of the game. There's a nice Starling Marte looking really different to me in his Arizona Diamondbacks uniform. Again, that was taken in spring training. Decades best, Andrew McCutcheon. David Ortiz, home run derby champion in 2010. And Zach Granke with the Astros. So typically, update has been a very good investment over the past few years. If you picked up a box of these and stored it away, you probably made a really nice choice there. 2018 Tops Update. I feel like those cards have multiplied. At least those boxes have gone up by like five-fold. And uh, even 2019 uh, Update is a very, very nice set as well. Lots of great rookies and rookie debuts in there. And look at this one. Wander Franco, 1989 Tops. Now, this is pretty cool. One thing Tops Update did this year was they picked the top prospect from each of the 30 teams and gave them a an insert card in here which is that's literally like the best prospect in baseball right there so that's pretty awesome 1989 tops design got to get that one sleeved up for robert there's clayton kershaw all-star card and kenyon middleton so we're still looking for our autograph and hopefully it's uh, gonna be a good one nick solak rookie debut we discussed the rookie debut cards already they take the top rookies from basically 20 uh 20 series one guys that appeared in the major leagues at the end of last season guys like Aristides Aquino who was uh everyone's all about him for a long time there's a nice Mike Trout 85 style card Chris Bryant of course Aquino is kind of his stock has fallen a bit we'll see if he can bounce back Chris Einan I like the spring training pictures <laughs> Kind of interesting. There's Nico Horner rookie debut. That looks very similar to the, his base rookie card. In fact, I'm wondering if that's the exact same picture. I'm going to sleeve that one up. Jed Jerko. King Felix Hernandez. Um, okay. All-star. I was going to say, why is he in his Mariners uniform there? But that's because he is a. Um, it's an all-star card. We got our first gold card. They flip it upside down for us to make it nice and easy to see. Danny Echeverria out of 2020. So we got our first insert card. There's a nice Mike Trout active leader card in on base percentage up there with Joey Votto. Kind of like those. It's kind of cool. I mean, at least we're not getting like um, dumb cards of just guys sitting in the dugout laughing. I, I would rather have an extra Mike Trout card and top stars like that than just like uh, hanging out. And then there's just two guys just sitting there. And there's Trent Grissom rookie card. He had a nice season. Grissom for the... San Diego Padres. Padres were a surprise team for some folks. Um, there's high tens. That's, these are the kind of cards I'm not too crazy about. Um, I guess they're interesting. As long as they don't overdo it. I feel like Top Series 2 really overdid those type of cards. It seems like there, there was like two or three per pack. We've got Tommy Pham. And look at this. We have our hit. It is going to be a relic. It is a Derek Jeter captain relic with Ichiro on it. So that's kind of cool, I guess. The bad thing is it's a manufacturer relic. It says, you've just received a Derek Jeter's final season commemorative patch from 2020 update with Ichiro on it. So manufactured relic is our hit. Uh, always really stinks when that counts as a hit. I would rather, much rather have, if I'm going to have to take a relic, I would rather have a game-used jersey or something like that. But we'll see. Maybe, just maybe, there will be another auto in here. Kyle Lewis rookie debut card's coming up, which is pretty nice. Edwin Encarnacion in the White Sox uniform just taken maybe in his, I don't know, obviously it's not his backyard, but it kind of looks like that. With his 414 career home runs, he is uh, he's up there. Cy Snead is a cool card, rookie card, again, taken at spring training. One of the 29 rookies that you can find in this set. There's the 85 Christian Yelich. We'll be looking at the 85 design in the Mojo Pack in a second. There's a Jesus Lusardo rookie debut and a nice Kyle Lewis rookie debut as well. So those rookie debut cards usually are worth about a half or a little less than a half of what the regular cards go for. Now, maybe even less than that, but they're still pretty awesome. They have that rookie, that rookie logo on there. So if I was a kid, I would call those fake rookie cards. But um, they're just rookie debuts. People will still pick them up. We got another prospect card coming up. And a nice Drew Pro Pro Pomeranz, who kind of reinvented his career as a reliever out of 69. Look at that earned run average. Used to be a starter there. And then uh, 26 innings pitch. Struck out 45 guys in 26 innings with the Brew Crew after coming over from the Giants. Just kind of... Wiped everybody away. Alec Bohm, number one prospect. That's a nice card. Got to sleeve that one up. Here's the back of it. There's 30 of those, so you'll probably 
uh, want to go after the top prospect of your favorite team, whoever that may be. I didn't get a chance to see who it was for the Pirates, but I'm guessing it's going to be Key Brian Hayes. I'm sure we'll find out tonight at some point. We're opening a whole bunch of Tops update tonight on the channel. I have uh, a lot of jumbo cases that we will be busting open. I hope you can join us for that. I'm hoping to start that break maybe around 7.30 or so p.m. Eastern time. There's a nice Kyle Ripken Jr. home run derby champion card. So a couple of Kyle Ripkins today. If you like um, Ripken, he's got an all-star card MVP and now a home run derby card. 12 home runs in 1991. I like those. Pretty cool. The next pack, up, probably not a ton of value to it since it's just a... Um, it's just a base card, but still really cool. If you collect Kyle Ripken, that's a card that you're definitely going to want to grab. Austin Allen with a big old leg kick there. Clayton Kershaw, active leader in pretty much everything. Earned run average, not even really close, 244 to 262. Man, Kershaw is good. There's Eric Davis. That brings back some memories. Eric Davis, 1989 home run derby. I like it. I was um, wondering how they're going to fill out the 300-card checklist since all the players that debuted in the big leagues this year, all those rookies, so many of them, they're all going to be in 2021 tops. There's a nice Robinson Chirinos um, a rainbow foil card. Next pack up for Robert. We have Jordan Alvarez rookie debut, admiring a home run right there with the gold cup as well. That's a cool-looking card right there, Jordan Alvarez. There's Jose Altuve. Uh, All-Star Game MVP card. I was wondering why he was in here. Um, we have uh, Chris Sale right there, active leader. Probably up there in strikeouts. Juan Soto, 85, is a nice-looking card. we got a Mark McGuire, 1992 home run derby card. So a lot of um, a lot of these guys that we grew up watching and admiring. Kind of cool that they have cards in here. We're halfway through this box. We also have the jumbo box that we'll be doing for you. We'll do the jumbo a little faster because some of these cards will start to repeat. There's a Neil Walker, Craig Kimbrell, good old Jordy Mercer, former Bucko. So we got the Bucko's uh, former double play uh, combo right there in Mercer and um, Walker. We got a hit coming up. It's a Jonathan Davis gold. That's a nice card right there. I like the gold cards. Always nice to find numbered cards. Brock Holt, Bartolo Colon. Wow, he, he's still considered an active player, I guess, by Tops. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Active uh, leader in wins right there, despite uh, not appearing in a game in, what, almost two years now? All right, here's our next pack up. Somebody needs to sign Bartolo and bring him back. There's Jose Iglesias showing off the lumber. Jonathan Villar, Rowdy Telez, Hunter Renfro. Derek Jeter, 20 years of the captain. Those are cool cards. Bryce Harper. And a Jairo Diaz is the last one. Next pack up for Robert. If you're wondering what the price point is on these, Steel City uh, Collectibles has the hobby boxes for, I think they're $129. So after tax, they're going to be almost $140. There's Dalton Varsho, Diamondbacks number one prospect. Nice card right there. And the Jumbos are $244, so about $260 after tax and shipping. And uh, they're right around the same price on blowout cards. You, maybe you'll find them a little cheaper elsewhere, especially your LCS. you got to support your LCSs, folks, local card stores. Typically, they order stuff like nine months in advance, and they, they get the best prices on stuff. There's Beau Bichette, nice one right there. So if your LCS doesn't price... Um, kind of like with the market and they don't look up what Steel City has them for, you can probably find these boxes for maybe, oh, I don't know, $20, $30 cheaper in your local card store. And then also you don't have to pay the shipping. So if you're lucky enough to have a local card store, make sure you check them out. There's Jesus Aguilar in his Marlins uniform. Hey, there's Kyle Higoshioka, I guess. Um, I hadn't really even heard of him before the playoffs. Um, Miguel uh Cabrera is a nice one. Ken Griffey Jr., 1999 home run derby card. That was at Fenway Park, and that was a very memorable home run derby. I remember, um, you guys remember Ted Williams being out on the field for that? I think they had the uh, all-century team there. Pretty sure 99 was at Fenway Park. Let me check the back of it. Yeah, it was at Fenway. Remember Mark Wire competing in that home run derby? There's a King Felix once again. Cespedes once more. We're starting to see some repeats now. JV Justin Verlander, Kenley Jansen. Still have that silver pack looming. There's a Nico Horner rookie card, rookie debut. We'll sleeve that bad boy up. Nick Turley, nice one right there. The Turley bird from the Buccos, Tommy Pham. 
Miguel Cabrera, I feel like we've pulled a bunch of Cabrera cards. There's a nice Ronald Acuna Jr., another Ken Griffey Jr. We're seeing quite a few Griffeys in here, so it's at least two, maybe more, maybe three. I think actually that's our third Griffey that we've pulled, two home run derby cards and now an all-star game MVP. Alex Verdugo, that's a kind of cool bat right there. like that card. Nice looking card. Got to check the back for these if there's short prints or not. You can see that ends in 5. It's tough to see because of the, it doesn't focus. Ends in 588. So that's a regular base card. The base ends in 588. And everything else, uh, with short prints, ends in 631. Super short, 632. There's a Yoshi Satsugo rookie card. Got to sleeve that bad boy up, I guess. Mookie Betts and Nestor Cortez. All right, Robert, you've got three packs left. Then we're going to delve into our jumbo box and see what we can find. We'll be mostly looking for the hits. We're going to have a guaranteed autograph out of that jumbo box, which is pretty nice. We've got Alex Kirillov, number one prospect for the Twins. Like that one a lot. He's going to be a, a beast. Just you wait and see. He actually debuted this year in the um, playoffs for the Twins. So that was kind of interesting. Here's our um, final two packs. So it looks like our hit for the jumbo or for the hobby is a couple Mike Trouts in here. That's kind of nice. Active leader there and an all-star game card there. It looks like our hit is going to be the manufactured relic, which thumbs down to that. Hope you'll thumbs up the video, though. Hopefully we have a nice hit coming out of um, the jumbo box here. We're doing both of them for you today just to kind of show you both different offerings. Miebris Viloria, haven't even ever heard of him. Rainbow foil card, nice one right there. Philip Deal is the last one. So we've got this silver pack. Maybe there'll be an auto in here. We've Oh, nice Beau Bichette, that's a great card right there. The silver packs are the uh, one of the best things about these boxes, if not the best thing. We've got a Jonathan Daza, Brock Burke rookie card, and Tommy Edmonds. So, Robert, thank you very much. And now it's time to move on to our jumbo box. What would a uh, new release preview be without doing both of them? I, I usually just do one because it usually takes me about 15 to 20 minutes just to do one. But I figure it's Tops Update. Let's do both of these. So here's the jumbo box. This one's for Joshua. There's 10 packs in here. And uh, each pack, I believe, has 46 cards. And there's three hits. So let's go ahead. Oh, there's our nice two. Actually, three. No, wait. Two and... Uh, an exclusive patch, so that's kind of a bonus. I wasn't expecting that. So we get a bonus in here, which is pretty nice. Check those out at the end. These will go a little bit faster. Just rip open the uh, the packs, only 10 of them, so here we go. All right, we've got a prospect card on the back, so maybe the inserts will all come at the back. And like I said, I'll go a little bit faster through the jumbos because we've already seen most of these cards. If there's something that kind of catches my eye, like um, that we haven't seen already, we will look at that again. But a lot of these cards are, we're seeing for the second and third time. There's another Ken Griffey Jr. once again. So the good stuff is at the back of the pack, and here we go. We Oh, Ramon Laureano comes in the very first pack. It is a 1985 Topps Auto right there, and it's numbered out of 199. 93 of 199, that's a nice hit right there. So Joshua, congratulations on that. Really love that card. You also have Franchi Cordero. Rainbow foil, you've got Javi Baez, and you've got a Tyler Stevenson, number one prospect for the Reds. I love those prospect cards. That would be a really cool set to put together, by the way. Looks like you get one per jumbo pack, kind of like how Series 2 had the um, Team 2030 on the back. And uh, Tops is playing games with me, switching, <laughs> switching these every which way. As soon as I flip them around, they're going to go the other way. Kyle Crick. That's the one thing that I dislike when packs do that. I wish they would just put them all in the same fashion. Domingo Santana Indians card. There's Bryce Harper. We've got All-Star Rivals. Glaber and Betts Celebrate. That's kind of a cool card. Derek Jeter All-Star Game card is a nice one. There's an Ichiro card. Frankie Lindor. Looks like he's going to get traded this offseason. And in our... Um, Insert portion, Anthony Rendon, gold foil. Those are only available in the Jumbos and Dalton Varsho prospect card for the second time. 
So we pulled two Dalton Varshows. We got an Ethan Small prospect coming up in our next pack. There's good old Craig Kimbrell. His um, he's one of the active leaders in saves. Cannot wait for 2021 tops to come out. We've got a few more months to wait for that. Typically, that comes out in. Um, there's Randy Rosarain, a nice one right there. Congratulations, Joshua. That's the best rookie card I would say in this set. But usually, tops. Um, series one comes out right around um, late January to early February. So we've got a little while to wait. We've got a camo, which is pretty nice. Giovanni Gallegos out of 25. It's going to be 11 of 25. That's a nice hit right there. Taylor Ward, gold foil. Bo Bichette, 85. And there is your Brewers number one prospect, Ethan Small. So let's toss all those in. Sleeve, sleeve those bad boys up. Next pack, we got Sean Poppin, rookie card, leading things off. Kind of a cool name. Bo Bichette, rookie debut. And away we go as we look for, got to make sure we sleeve up the best cards from the base. Like I said, we've already seen these base cards multiple times. I remember back in the day, Aristide Sakino was a must sleeve, but he's uh, he's a common now, believe it or not. Nice Ken Griffey Jr. And here's this the good stuff. Jason Kipnis, silver foil, rainbow foil. There. There's A.J. Puck, rookie. And there is Brennan Davis from the Cubs. Nice one right there. Top prospect in the Cubs organization. So we're, we still have two hits hanging out in here. Uh, Casey Mize is going to be a nice one. We're looking for our relic. And sometimes those relics, they'll slap a sticker auto on there and put them out of 10. So that's what, what I'm hoping for. We shall see. There's Eric Davis once again for you Eric Davis fans out there or Cincinnati Reds fans. That's a card that you probably want to have in your collection. Yoshi Sutsugo. And here comes the good stuff. Wow, we have a manufactured patch. I think it's a Derek Jeter patch again. So for those of you that are big fans of Derek Jeter, Tops update is right up your alley. 2009 Derek Jeter, 20 years of the captain, commemorating the 20 years of Derek Jeter's career. Cool one right there. There's a Mookie Betts, Gold Foil, and Casey Mize, number one prospect. He is going to be an ace for the Tigers for many years to come. You'll see him likely in their rotation next year. Tigers will be, uh, I don't know if they'll be a new look, but they'll be fun to watch. We'll see if Torkelson makes the big leagues anytime soon, along with guys like Tariq Skubal and Casey Mize. There's some hope up there in the Motor City. Within the next couple years, you got A.J. Hinch, former uh, manager of the Astros, leading the way. Pretty good manager, but, um, of course, marred by the whole cheating thing. But I, I do think that he knows his X's and O's pretty well. Knows his way around a ball game, so we'll see if he can get them to the next level. There's Ian Miller, rookie card. It's a gold rookie, which is pretty awesome. It'd be nice to find a Randy Rosarena rookie card that's a gold or a parallel for that matter. We're going to try to find that tonight. Alex Kirilloff. Again, we'll be live tonight right around probably 7.30 or so. Opening a whole bunch of these jumbo boxes. And uh, looking for all the good stuff in here. Short prints, autographs, one autograph per box, two relics per box. We're still looking for our relic, which hopefully will be coming at some point. There's Tino Martinez, home run derby card. I think that's our first time seeing that one. Ken Griffey Jr. once again. And here comes the... Good stuff. Saving the best for last. Jesus Lusardo, rookie debut, and Kyle Lewis back to back. Those are two nice ones. Brian Johnson, Rainbow Foil, Shogo, 85. And our number one prospect is Alec Baum again. So we've got three more packs, and we have all those silvers to do. Wander Franco for you, Josh. That's pretty cool. That's the best prospect you can find out of these, and probably the most valuable from the set. Your Don Alvarez, rookie debut, rookie card once more. You'll notice these cards are often in the same order, and as I switch these cards around to kind of show you them hopefully right side up, I did notice a thicker stock card, I think, so we may have our Relic coming in this pack. If that's the case, the last two packs will be quote-unquote cold packs, but you never know. There might be a shot for a nice short print in there. There's a Gavin Lux, and there it is. It is a Carlos Correa 2017 Major League Baseball All-Star Game workout jersey right there. That's pretty cool. Carlos Correa from the Astros. So that's our third and final hit. We also have a time to party card right here. And uh, Wander Franca. There's good old Wander at the back. So two more packs and then the silvers are coming up. And an additional bonus patch card that they're giving us, which is pretty nice. Uh, all right. So here's our next 
round of Topps update cards. Sean Poppins in there once again. Brennan McKay has a rookie debut card. Like I said, the top 10 rookies from the 2020 Series 1 are in here for rookie debuts. I guess anybody that appeared in 2020, they just did not have enough time to put together a rookie debut card for them. So you'll likely be seeing them. Um, man, 2021 Topps update will be just stocked with rookie debut cards. There's Zach Granke. I wonder if they're going to do... All the guys that appeared this year's rookie debuts. There's Colton Welker from the Rockies, number one prospect. Here's our final pack for Joshua. Best of luck to you, Joshua. And then Christian Pache is a nice one from the Braves. He actually made his debut this year, played in the playoffs as well. Cy Snead is in here. There's Randy Rosarena again, so that is a great card. Number one card from the base set, arguably. As he just went on a tear in October, hit nine home runs. What was he? The ALCS MVP. A big reason why the Rays were, um, you know, so good this off or this um, postseason. There is a Glaber gold foil. We've got Willie Mays '85, and there's the Christian Pache. Nice one right there. There he is. He's going to win a lot of gold gloves in his career, I do believe. So we're going to finish off now with our silver packs. Let's check out this patch card. What's this all about? The patch card is, oh, it's a cloth card. That's really cool. <laughs> I was expecting it to be like a manufactured patch, but it is an Aloy Jimenez cloth card. Very nice looking card right there. I like it. Pretty cool gold cup card, Aloy Jimenez. That's pretty awesome. There's the back of it. So if you know how to sew, you could sew this onto, uh, I don't know, something. Um, awesome card right there. Joshua, congratulations on that. And let's check out your silver packs now and then we will wrap this video up and then see you later tonight for our live stream looks like oh i thought maybe we had a red in there there's bobby bradley roger clemens mojo hyunjin ryu and ronhel ravelo is the last one so nothing crazy in that pack unless you're a big bobby bradley fan let's check this one out we're hoping to get some autographs in these i'm sure we'll find some tonight in our silver packs we got a bunch of these to do there's Derek jeter along with seth brown Tony Gonsolin rookie card and the last, Luis Robert is the last one. What a way to end the preview video. Luis Robert 85 mojo for Joshua. So congratulations on that one. And that'll do it. That's Topps Update. We got a hobby and jumbo for you in the books. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, make sure you check us out tonight for the live stream of 2020 Topps Update Jumbo. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Friday. I hope you have a great weekend this weekend. And I'll see you all tonight. Good night, everybody.